Last week, we left the Florida Keys and headed to Florida's nature coast. And then we buckled down for Hurricane Nicole. And this week, we had a home invasion. I am Tammy, and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. And along with Gracie and Jasper, we've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. What are you doing? I'm cleaning. We have a microscopic little ants that have decided to invade the RV. Like the teeniest, tiniest little ants you've ever seen. And it's cold out and we're thinking they're coming in because it's warm. So what do you do about that? How, how big are these things? They're microscopic? They're teeny tiny. He can't see them because he can't see that little. But just because you don't see them doesn't mean they're not there. So you're saying that these ants are kin to uh, the no seams that fly around and bite us? I don't see any. That's actually a good point. They're probably no seams without wings. Anyway, I don't like them in the RV. We've never had this problem before. And we're on a concrete pad and we've been spraying around the bottom with good, you know, not harmful spray. Maybe that's the problem. It's not strong enough. Babe, come here. They're in the shower. You don't believe me, but look. Do you believe me now? So you want me to go get the, uh, the not harmful for humans and animals spray and see if it'll take care of those guys? We gotta find out where they're coming in. I sprayed all the pads, all the tires, and all the seals coming in around the uh, slide outs and around the doors. I'm not sure what else I can do. Whatever the case. They're driving me nuts. I haven't gotten bit by one, but they're, uh, I just don't like the idea that there's these tiny ants crawling around all over inside. It's gross. So I'm cleaning and we're gonna treat the outside again and see if we can figure out where these little bad boys are coming in at. Has anyone else had the ant invasion in their RV? I mean, we've been in the woods, on grass, all over the country. And we've never had this problem, but we're on a very nice concrete pad and it's very maintained. There's no grass around us. And now we have ants. Go figure. You know what? I think they're coming in through the roof. I think they're coming in through our vents. We do have a tree up around that kind of hangs over. I think they're coming in the roof. Babe, you gotta go spray all the access points on the roof now. What the heck? We're in we're in Florida. What are you doing, girls? We're freezing to death is what we're doing. Even got the Vermont flannels on. You know it's cold when you're wearing Vermont flannels in Florida. And how cold is it back in Colorado? It, it's a lot colder in most of the country, so I'm not gonna whine about it. I'm just gonna snuggle up by the fire and uh, be grateful it's just cold and rainy. But it does feel more like Oregon right now than Florida. Have you seen our Oregon videos? We wintered in Oregon our very first year. Oh, I'll link those right here. That was when we first started. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of a, an Oregon day in the RV. But we're in Florida. Well, I think that may have been a slight exaggeration because down here it turns to winter for a day or two and then it goes right back to summer couple days of winter, a bunch more summer. You want to make me some hot chai, babe? Okay, babe, one chai coming up. Love. 
the best husband ever. Do you want to run to town and get some donuts now? Want to go for a bike ride today? You betcha, we're going for a bike ride. So we're out on the Crystal River Nature Preserve seven mile bike or walking trail. And we just came across the alligators den. I don't know if they call it a den, but there's a little body of water and there's all kinds of little baby alligators and a bigger alligator. And we haven't seen mama alligator no, yet. I think that was mama right there. You anyway, didn't see how big it was. I saw it was not big. Big, five feet. But anyway, there's a bunch of little baby ones and one like ran into the water and squeaked. So we're keeping our out for mama and we're gonna hustle on by, but we've never been riding in the forest and saw a whole nest of baby alligators. I don't know, is it a nest, a den? You taking back? Okay, Scott was right. That is mama alligator and there's a baby on her back. How long is she? At least uh, probably five feet. five feet. It's not a scary monster alligator like we saw in Silver Springs, but these little babies are everywhere. They must have lots of babies. Anyway, pretty interesting, but we're going to leave them in peace and carry on. Well, I know if we're going to keep doing stuff like this, we're going to make sure that we've got extra tires with us because I don't want to get stuck back there without without any tires so tires and a pump the trail is pretty rough in places these bikes did well but we have really aggressive tread and tires but there's sticks and stumps underneath and some places that are grabby so you know you gotta gotta be paying attention i was listening to my new uh, headphones listening to a little reggae when we were going through there and it helped me relax and not worry so much about getting eaten. Oh my goodness, babe. Yeah, because being four miles back in the jungle there with the gators right next to the trail like that was just a little bit jittery. And then the little babies got, and they're jumping in, and I thought they were snakes at first, but they were the babies. Wow. That was cool. All right, back to camp. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. We're gonna go to Honeymoon Beach to collect seashells for our anniversary. And it's freezing cold out, so we're bundled up. But we're gonna do it anyway. We've, we've done Oregon beach combing in the winter, so I think we can handle it. Are you excited? I'm just trying to get this whole body moving. It's freezing. Should we go get um, some Wawa for breakfast? Gotta get a Wawa. I think that was our first time in Florida that we turned on our heat seats and heat steering wheel. His idea was this anyway. I'm not gonna sing. It's too early for that. My hands are cold, my feet are cold. I already gave you your uh, your love letter for anniversary, so okay. I'm kind of in the clear for the day. And I'm getting you a Wawa. Okay. What did you get me for our anniversary? I got you a sausage, egg, and cheese croissant from Wawa. Now your anniversary gift comes later. It's not like that. You guys get your heads out of the gutter. It's his favorite thing, but we'll do it later. We're relaxing. This is so great. You good? How are you? Thank good. you. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Thank you. Here's our name. Here's your chai tea. Perfect for a cold morning. Do you think we're the only ones in 43 degrees on a morning going to the beach? Grabbed one of the kiddos' shell bag to collect shells in. And the tide's gonna be rolling back in, so we're gonna scurry down to the very north end of the beach and work our way back because that's where the best shells are. You ready, handsome? Yep. 
Let's go search. Go search for the goods. You know, the thing is, is every time I try and get you to get up early with me to go shoot sunrises or sunsets, it's like pulling teeth. But no, if we're gonna get up early and go out in the cold to look for shells, it's like Christmas morning, man. You're up, you're up at first light and wanting to go. What's up with that? We, we both have our things. Yours is sunrises and mine is beachcombing. When I wake up in the morning and I see your face, I'm becoming blind by a dazzling grace. What a beautiful feeling to Anybody in there? No, just, just the ocean. I call them unicorn horns, I don't know what they are. We discovered this beach three years ago when we came to the Tampa RV show and we were trying to figure out what rig we wanted and it was also our anniversary and here we are on the beach collecting shells again. It all comes back full circle. Have fun? Yeah, getting our exercise and we're beach combing all at the same time. It's nice to hear the waves. Gals would expect diamonds and flowers and jewels. I just need a beach and seashells. First five years of marriage, I bought her all kinds of sparkling jewelry and expensive stuff. I don't even think she knows where it is. This stuff means more to her. I'm pretty easy, right, babe? No, you're quite easy. I mean, as long as I check all the boxes and fulfill all of, all of your needs then things go pretty well thank you for letting me use your cane <laughs> I don't know how I was gonna get back my hips are getting worse again only seven surgeries and they still suck anyway I need to start bringing a cane too I guess we're getting old inflation's even hitting hard at the beach this is what a dollar used to be worth this is what it's worth now. This is a perfect anniversary. Thank you, babe. I heart you too. I heart you. All right, babe, come get your anniversary gift. Not you. <laughs> Are you so happy? <laughs> there you go. How's that, babe? That's pretty good. That's, that's my favorite thing. Oh, here comes Jasper. Here comes, hey, Jasper. It's a family event around here. This is very relaxing. <laughs> this, is, this is so relaxing you wouldn't believe it. 